काजल जी as a discussion and then after that followed with bq and a So I think in the promo, you guys saw the universe of categories uh, that Kajal is uh, keen to establish. So it's not just home furnishing or cookware or homeware. It's it's cross category, uh, which has been everybody has been waiting for. So I'll ask the production to play the video. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm really pleased to be here. Um, first and foremost, launching and unveiling my brand licensing program with HGH really means a lot. I was very keen to meet all you pioneers in the industry and to collaborate and to invite you to come across various categories and join us in building a sustainable, beautiful, um, valuable brand that actually helps in changing people's lives. So Kajal, uh, first of all, uh, I think everyone would want to know what is the word Katika means. So uh, it's actually said Katika and um, it's a Telugu plus a Sanskrit word which means Kajal. So Katika Kalu means beautiful eyes. So I think that uh, itself reflects her vision and also integrates with the name because Whenever, uh, you know, we, we as a, you know, go about thinking about a brand name, uh, there are a lot of different ideas that comes to our mind and uh, celebrity brands when we think of, uh, it's very difficult to find a synergy and just one name which is, uh, you know, truly, you know, depicting her name and also sharing the vision. So it's a very beautiful name and uh, we are glad that she revealed it exclusively here at HGH India at the home business trade show. So, uh, you know, now we will get into a few questions in terms of uh, what is the philosophy of the brand Katika? So, um, you guys have seen me in over 60 movies. I have been uh, working in the film fraternity for almost two decades now. Um, it's been a very fruitful and a very fulfilling journey. But um, now I feel that there, I'm at a space in my life, I'm at a phase of my life where um, I want growth and diversity over other spheres and other industries as well. Home and living um, is an industry which is very close to my heart. And recently I found quite a few market gaps when we were doing up our home. And um, I felt that we don't really have a strong Indian brand which depicts Indian values rooted in Indianness and Indian culture, which is so big and vast and beautiful, um, still being very contemporary and keeping in mind the functionality of the products that we use and keeping in mind the sync and synergy across various categories. 
So I really wanted to come forward and create a brand which actually could fill this market gap. And uh, that's how Kartika came into the picture. That's also how uh, keeping the brand philosophy of Indian rootedness, uh, culture, integrated with a lot of modernity, contemporariness, and keeping functionality as the main key point of this brand came about. Yeah, so I think it's a very uh, thoughtful idea and since he said uh, rooted in Indian and I think uh, as India is going global with uh, the way the Prime Minister has positioned ourselves, I think we, ta we should take pride in presenting Indianness uh, and I think Kajal with her own design philosophy wants to bring din uh, Indian designs, the artisans uh, bent of, uh, you know, the, the take on the designs are traditional cultu cultural values, the spirituality in terms of essence. And uh, it's not about doing one category, let's say bed or bath or furniture or cookware. It is doing a cross category. That's what her perspective is. She's not going to just do one product, but she wants to bring the home lifestyle aspect of it and taking elements which represent Indianness. So I think uh, that's the broad idea. And uh, knowing Kajal's, uh, you know, thorough preparation, whether it comes to films or any other thing that she's doing, I think uh, she has a very, uh, you know, focused approach. And here we are going to share a business presentation to this audience, which will really showcase how prepared she is when she's launching a brand, you know. Uh, and there is, uh, there is a lot of homework gone into it. So as we will have conversation, we will have some slides. Uh, which will uh, showcase uh, what we intend to do and give you some visual depiction in terms of what we exactly mean. Uh, I will uh, ask uh, Gautam to give perspective in terms of how uh, they have together, uh, you know, thought and uh, what's the broader vision starting because there is uh, the ecosystem of modern retail in the home lifestyle space with, you know, very category specific retail in terms of what does rooted means, you know. I think accepting yourself um, for what you are, where you are, and where you come from. Um, humble beginnings, uh, beautiful journeys. I think all of that creates a sense of rootedness and a sense of belonging, which is extremely important, which is our brand philosophy. And adding that in every aspect of your life. In this situation, obviously, home and living would be the best primary example for this, where you uh, probably have um, an Indian element in a very contemporary design. You have products which are very technologically forward, great, um, you know, materials for the same, great uh, innovations for the same, yet the design would be Indian. So a marriage of this, a synchronization of this would probably be, would mean embracing yourself and staying rooted. That's a pretty, uh, you know, I think you're hearing from, uh, uh, you know, herself and I think there's no better explanation that, uh, you know, we can add to. So thanks for your insights. Uh, we'll move on to the next slide now. Uh, this is, uh, you know, giving, you know, in terms of beyond her acting prowess, you know, how she's uh, now catapulted herself into being the boss woman as a business lady to really, uh, you know, come here and um, uh, launch a brand. So we'll uh, move on to the next slide from the introduction one. This, uh, as you know, in terms of, this is a very fair, small synopsis. She's done over 60 more plus films and a lot more coming. But this is the one uh, I think we could capture on the slide. Um, uh, you know, really interacting with the fans live where you can, you know, there is uh, really a no-filter zone, you know, I would say. No-filter would be very true and very on point, Vishal. Uh, I think digital media comes with its pros and cons. I want to emphasize on the pros right now, since we are discussing this. Um, it gives me a platform to just be my true, authentic, most organic self, post my literally daily affairs, my, my living, so that my fans and my audience can get a glimpse of how I live my life, what I am behind the scenes, what I am behind camera, and uh, just to keep it very real and authentic. Okay. 
so that's uh, i think um, uh, i would say digital you know f personally for me when i look at i feel it's 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 a lot of responsibility and the way um, the troll gangs also sometime target you know i think uh, regular people can't handle it also we are influencing so many young minds yes so that's where the responsibility picture comes in where you want to make sure that you give out the right message and you don't influence people in a way which might harm them or affect them in a negative manner and i think uh, we have seen on social media she has been sharing her progression in life uh, you know right after marriage being a mother you know i think different perspectives and we we are aware in terms of you know how she's progressing and i think it's a great medium and uh, we're going to really engage our fans which will really embrace what we are intending to launch soon and share our design ideas the entire journey uh, for the home and living business that we are going to build so you're going to see a lot of uh, design ideas product curation you know uh, work in progress on her social media next